So we all know that Donald Trump, the Trump organization, and therefore the Trump children, Eric, Don Jr. and Ivanka, they're all in massive trouble. But the question remains, if the chips are down, will Trump protect his kids from prison over himself? We know the answer is no, and even family members are admitting it. Here's my yeah. question. Understanding the family the way you do, what would it mean to Donald Trump if they came after his kids uh, in an organization like this? Now, I'm not wishing that. I don't wish it on any family. But what I'm saying is the facts are what the facts are. Would that change his disposition, you think? Would he take one for his kids? No, he wouldn't. Um, I think if that were to happen, if uh, prosecutors were to go after his children, he would fully expect them to take a hit for him, to benefit him. Um, what he probably doesn't understand is that not that's not really how it works. You know, they always try to get people to flip so they can go after the bigger target. Um, but Donald would never imagine in a million years that his children would do that, although I'm fairly sure they would. So uh, it's if that indeed happens, it's going to be fascinating because he would never do anything to protect them if it were at his expense. And so that's Mary Trump, that's Donald Trump's niece, and she was on CNN saying, look, because this is an organizational crime, it includes Trump, but it also includes the Trump kids because they're all executives at the corporation. If it was just about Trump's personal taxes alone, the kids really wouldn't be a part of it. But because it's the company, the whole family is at legal peril. And what she's saying is Donald Trump will do nothing for his kids if it costs him anything personally. He may protect them, but never at his own expense, never at putting himself at further risk of prison or a guilty verdict or what have you. And I think what she said is very instructive because we've talked about this issue before, but she put it in a unique way where not only will Trump fail to protect his own children, but he actually expects them to protect him. So he's not going to go out of his way for his kids, but expects them to fall on the sword for him to put themselves at risk of prison and hefty fines and infamy for him. Like, this is ridiculous, right? Like, you can say so much about Trump, so much about these right-wing ghouls, but as a father, and I know many of you are parents as well, the idea that you would expect your kids to sacrifice themselves for you and that you wouldn't affirmatively sacrifice yourself for them is bonkers to me. If it came down to it, I would 100% lay down everything, my life, for my son. And I know most of you would do the same. And it's an indictment of Trump as a human being, as a person, as a man, that he wouldn't do the same. And we know he wouldn't. And what I hope if anything is one, I hope they do all go down to prison because they are all criminals. But if I had to choose, I hope the kids are getting ready to flip on their dad because he is the biggest fish and they likely have ammunition against them. And one thing we've talked about, and this is something that the Trump kids need to be aware of, is the corporate lawyers and daddy's lawyers are not their lawyers. And if they're talking to daddy's lawyers and they're talking to the corporation's lawyers, what they're doing is giving them ammunition to be used against them. They're giving the other people the tools to sell them out and flip them. They need to get their own lawyers and they need to ask themselves, however much it hurts, you gotta sell daddy out because daddy would never protect you.